All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your wheel and center a piece of clay. First thing you wanna do is you wanna take a small piece of clay and you're gonna smear it on the wheel head. The wheel head is the part of the wheel that is turning. Um, so you can just put it on the outside edges of the wheel head and this sort of raises the edge just a little bit and uh, makes the wheel head act like a suction cup, which will hold your bat. And your bat has two sides. It's got a rough side and a smooth side normally. And the smooth side is going to go down against the suction cup that you just made. Okay, the rough side goes up because it's going to help to grip your clay. So I've got my wedged piece of clay. I'm going to slap it right onto the center. And if it's not quite on the center, I can kind of uh, slap it until it is on the center. Make sure it's firmly adhered to the bat. Um, the next thing you want to do is get your wheel turning and you want your wheel turning medium speed and you're just going to seal the edge like this just so that your clay doesn't slip off of your bat. Also the wheel is turning counterclockwise so that's the opposite direction of the clock. Um, now you're going to wet your clay. So I'm just wetting it with my sponge and I'm gonna get my body and my arms and my hands in the right position. So um, the first thing is that I wanna uh, be touching the wheel with my knees, but I don't wanna be really close to it. Um, I want to be sitting on the front half of my seat so that my back is more straight and I can use the weight of my body against the clay. Next, I'm gonna plant my elbows on top of my legs or kind of on the inner part of my quad. And if I were to lean forward just a little bit, you can see that the heel of my hand reaches almost to the center of the clay. So that's how I know I'm gonna get the leverage that I need. Okay, so wetting the clay again, and uh, my arms are braced. Uh, first, I'm gonna start with my left hand, and I want my elbow, my wrist, and the center of the clay to make a straight line at seven o'clock. So I'm gonna just lean into the clay at seven o'clock, I'm gonna point out that the clay is going up and that's because the bat is down here, the clay can't go down, my hand is here, the clay can't go out. Um, I need to push down the clay. So both of my hands are on the left side of the clay. And I'm sandwiching my hands together as I push down on the clay. The whole time, my left hand is pushing at seven o'clock. My right hand can reach over and get some water. My right hand can push down on the clay, or I can use my right hand to help the clay cone up, and this will help me get it centered. So if I take my right hand and make like a little hook, I can pull on the clay at one o'clock. So I'm pulling on the clay at one o'clock with my fingertips, towards the heel of my left hand, squeezing the clay up into a cone. I can release my hand, get my clay wet again, and then I'm gonna sandwich my hands together again, pushing forward and down at seven o'clock. So right now the clay is getting really centered except for this bottom little bit here. So again, I'm gonna just hook my hand and I'm just gonna scrape along the clay at about one o'clock, pulling the clay towards the heel of my hand, coning it up again, and then back down. The whole time, my elbows are braced against my legs and my left hand is pushing at seven o'clock. Once I feel the clay becoming still underneath my hands, I'm gonna slowly let my hands off and that will keep it centered. Okay, if you can't do that in less than a minute, then um, you need to just hit it off center again, like that, and then do it again. So you should be able to center at medium speed in less than a minute before you're ready to move on to the next step.